and here I am. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Jam Tech. Jeremy here. All right, so I got these two here for Christmas and they're both from Manfrotto and they're one of the top of the range. So I pretty much got these because they'll last me a long time and it's gonna be pretty great and solid. So I've got the MK190X Pro 3. So this is a three extension one. And I've got the uh, MVH502AH. So with a flat bottom, not a ball head, uh, not a ball joint. So let's get started with the unboxing, shall we? Alrighty, so what we got here? Hmm. I wonder what it is. Oh, we all know what it is. It's hot today. Today is, I am recording this on the 31st of December. Last day of the year. Hopefully this gets out on the day as well. Give me the last video of the year. Um, we'll be partying on later on. Great way to celebrate it with a video, right? All right, so inside the box, what we've got is the actual unit here. And there's nothing else, like I said, it did come with a head but um, they sold it separately and I got this for a very reasonable price. So, well, my wife got it for a very reasonable price. All right, so in the bag here we have, ooh, you can smell that Manfrotto. Mm. So we've got the new quick power lock. So I had to play around with these in the store and they are very nice and tactile. So they require a bit of effort, which is good. You don't want them just easily coming off. And you can easily close them up as well too. Some rubber feet here at the bottom. We've got two rubber grips. So those rubber grips are good for if you want to start handling, moving around with a, with a tripod. And you've got your locking mechanisms for the, for the tripod ahead as well. So you've got, if you ever want to go even lower, this has that opportunity to even go really steep low as well. And with that 90 degree tilt, which I'll show you in a second, you'll be able to do some nice sick ass shots on this. So just on the sides here, we have little hooks here that you can attach uh, sandbags to, to weigh it down even more, depending on the camera you have. We have an easy link, so in here, if we twist this off, if it lets us twist, I think it might be just a pop, there we go. Uh, you have a 3 8 inch uh, bolt, bolt joiner here, so you can attach things like monitors and accessories to your cameras as well. And then you've got your tightener as well, so you can untighten that and stretch that up like that as well too. Top here, we, uh, this model has the actual uh, bubble level, so, bubble level, so you can actually make sure that you are level on your tripod before you even put your camera on there. And then you got the 3/8 um, bolt there as well to bolt it onto your heads. Really, now you can get if you've got an old tripod, which I have, which I'm filming on right now, changing over to this, you can get an adapter that changes it from a 3/8 to a one quarter inch, which is pretty much all the older ones there, or a photo tripod if you wanted to get one of these. But all in all, very good tripod, very sturdy, very heavy. Uh, like it's, it's still light, but it's still got a bit of sturdiness to it, which is nice. And let's remove this little foam here. So the 90 degree, how it works, right? So first of all, making sure I don't hit anything. You untighten it. So you got the little bolt here to untie, or little twist thing here to untie it. Lift it up, right? You'll get to the top, obviously, that there'll be a limiter. So you can tighten that out and go a little bit high if you need. But what you can do is there's a button right at the bottom here. Press that, continue up, tilt that, slide that through, and then tighten it up again. Easy. So I know we normally get through the boring stuff later on, but we know that we will never even touch this. But you have your instruction manuals. Instructions manual. So there. Throw this away. Let's get to the main event, shall we? We have the MVH502AH video head from Manfrotto. Now this, my wife got this one. Like I did, she did ask me what I wanted. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure. I like the surprise, but I know she wouldn't get it unless I told her. Um, instructions manuals, pretty standard. We got that. What, what we got here first is the handle. So now the handle's there, looking good. Pretty, pretty solid handle. Pull this out. So obviously you lock this against the head, but nice, a nice grip to it actually. It's a very nice grip. Even if I have like myself sweating a lot, 
with the seat, I can still have a nice grip to it. So that's really cool to have. Throw that out. Throw that out. And this is the head. Bam, that's heavy. Jeez. That's crazy heavy. Anyway, but this is awesome. Wow. Jeez. They didn't really hold back on quality here, did they? Alright, so just go through some of the stuff here with you guys. Um, so this has a new bridging technology, which means that you've got this hole in the middle, kind of bridging both of them together. Uh, you've got your fluid drag system here. You've got your lock for your, your tilts up here. Then you've got your lock for your, uh, your tilts Yeah. I mean your pan, sorry, excuse me. So this red ring here, it's your loosening up. And again, you have a bubble level at the bottom there. All right, so you've got the two points here. So you got the two points here to clamp on your handles. So we'll take this off. Let's pull this off to the ground. I don't need this anymore. Out. I've placed the arm on there. So let's have a look at the quick release plate here. If you're doing it with a video camera, you'll need the 3 8 bolts. But if you're using a DSLR or a Micro Four Thirds of my G7 that I'm using here, you'll be using the quarter of an inch bolts. So that's also included there. You've got this little knob down here. Knob. So you can tighten it there so you once you loosen it obviously you can slide it front and forward you got this little locking button here that'll actually get you the unit out so you, by pressing that you can bring that to forward, toward out and then when you put it back in it should clip in and that should give you oh, it's because the bolter hanging low. And I'll show you how that actually uh, you can remove the 3 8 bolt there. So you, if you remove the little rubber part here, so you'll see like a little rubber part just there, you can then slide the one that you're not using across and you have that there within and put that plug back in to stop the other one from coming out. So now I'm left with just a quarter inch uh, bolt in there. Let's put this on a tripod shall we? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, shall ya? Shall we look at that? Look at that. Pretty simple. Righty tighty, let you loosey. You can hear that. Oh. oh! Knocked me right in the nose. So, normally sometimes it takes ages to glide some of these, but unlock. Bam. Look at that. That's sturdy. That's gorgeous. I like it. Great present. All right, that's that's very smooth though. I'm very happy with that. But great unit, very sturdy. So far, first impressions, I love it. I just can see this. I can see me using this for a while. So if you guys really like this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button, as it does help out the channel a lot. And also subscribe so you can get updated on to the newest videos that I do. But other than that, until next time, have a happy new year. I wish you guys all the best for the new year, and I'll see you next year. Later. Oh.